All right, well, we're having a stage demo today with a very special guest. Her name is Sho Morasi, one of my favorite artists, actually, personally, so I'm super excited to be here and working with her. But more importantly, I want to kind of talk about her line, which are part of a line that she is part of, and it is called DC Artist Alley. And I, if you haven't seen the examples, there's one right here of one of the sh of shows, and it's actually um, the Poison Ivy one. And I just want to preface this really quickly. I've seen her art, and I cannot believe that that actually went into 3D. It is one of the most beautiful pieces of, of objects I've ever seen. Um, so just to give you a little orientation about the um, line. So basically, it was inspired by going to artist alleys at conventions and finding really interesting and unique um, artists. And when we did, um, we just basically asked them to bring their vision to our top characters. And so, Sho, uh, what are you drawing right now? I'm drawing uh, Poison Ivy, one of Poison my favorite Poison Ivy? Characters. Awesome. Is Poison Ivy one of your favorites? Yes, she is. I think the three Gotham series that I actually did, make, we made the figures of, are some of my favorite characters in this universe. Nice, nice. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so it's starting in summer 2018. Um, and I believe the first one from show that will be out is Catwoman. Um, and is that the third one to come out? The third one to come out. So, yeah, the other artists in the line um, are uh, Nooligan and Chris Umunga. And so um, I just think your guys' chemistry has been really great. Um, as you can see, she's sketching. And she's also in Actual Artist Alley right now at room, um, sorry, table GG24. Is that right, Joe? That's correct. I am awesome. in GG24. Nice. Come by, come by. I have so, things that I can sell. Exactly. So we have some sketch cards. Um, Travis, do you have one? Awesome. So these are free giveaways. And what's going to happen is uh, on the back side, there's a beautiful piece of her art. Actually, it uh, showcases all three of the items that are um, characters that she's going to be doing with an actual product shot of the first one, Catwoman. And then she'll be in Artist Alley doing quick sketches on the cards, like you see, actually, her drawing right here. So, Sho, what is, how did you actually start with DC? Did they really find you at Artist Alley? Uh, yes, I, well, I was actually working for Warner DC for some time, doing like style guides for their movies. And then uh, I, had talked to, I had talked with uh, Jim Fletcher like years ago about doing um, something together, you know? So that's, uh, he found me uh, in the Artist Alley or walking around in his booth, which I'm admiring at his work, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, that's pretty much how it happened. So it's, it's real. We, it's not just a namesake. It actually really happened, like finding these artists in Artist Alley. Um, so do you, have, do you have like a particular, um, you do a lot of different types of art, right? Or do you use a certain color palette when you do your art? Uh, yes, uh, lately I have been really into the red and the black and the white, and that's pretty much what I have been using for the most part. Yeah. I'm very minimalistic. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, so you are Korean-American, correct? I am actually half Korean, half Japanese, but I grew up in Spain, so I'm not sure exactly what I am anymore. That's amazing. So how do, do you think that all those different kind of cultures that you've been exposed to and are a part of, does oh. that inform your artwork? Yes. I would say that most people would come on my table and say that uh, my work looks a little bit different. And I think that's because uh, it has like European influences, the same, uh, and also Japanese, uh, Asian influences, basically. And uh, of course, I've been in America for like over 15 years, so that too, you know. Uh, so it's a little kind of like, I guess, weird. <laughs> so how did you feel about your art becoming an actual 3D item? Was, was oh it my God, I love it so much. When they first approached me, uh, you guys approached me for this project, I was a little bit skeptic, but I mean, I always wanted to see my work in 3D form, but I was like, I'm not sure if it's gonna work out too well because, you know, my work is very, very graphic and very stylized. And that's not the easiest way, uh, the easiest style to actually uh, translate in 3D. And when they came out, I was like, oh my God, these figures, are so amazing. I'm actually think they look way better than my own drawing. 
That is very nice of you to say, but I have to say your your stuff is as as good. Obviously, it is your stuff, but I have to say it. I was shocked too because I've been working with DC a collectible since the beginning of this program because obviously they haven't launched yet. But I saw your concepts before I saw, for instance, that Poison Ivy, and I'm still completely in just shocked that they can do that. I mean, actually, they shock me all the time. They're a great group. Um, so yeah, just to remind everybody again, this uh, artist, DC Artist Alley starts next year, 2018, and show's first piece coming out will be the Catwoman that you see here, um, and I think it's followed by Harley. Poison Ivy, then, yeah, I'm so tired still. <laughs> My voice is already dying. I know, it's um, been a long day. Do, do we have any fans or any questions? Just make sure that you guys all get what you need out of this. There's a fan. <laughs> that is great. Um, so I, we're going to give away this beautiful sketch. And I'm going to have a trivia uh, probably question for you to be able to do that. So just everybody get your thinking caps on. Um, so what is your favorite medium? Do you do digital? Are you... Uh, you know, actually, I prefer non-digital. Like, uh, I like to, uh, like... Um I experiment a little bit with different media. Right now, is I'm doing what I'm doing is markers, obviously, but uh, I like uh, probably brush, uh, brush ink and acrylic the most. Right. And did you go to art college? Like, what was your beginning in art? Um, I did go to fine art and graphic design in Barcelona, and uh, I went to animation school as well. So I started off like a, as an animator. Yeah. Yeah, I can see your style being really animated would look amazing, actually in any form. That is so beautiful. I wish that was mine. <laughs> <laughs> if I get the answer right, do I get it? <laughs> uh, maybe I'll come to your table <laughs> if I can get away from it. So she's wrapping up. Um, I'm going to give out the trivia question. What table is she at in Artist Alley? I had used, I had said it in the beginning. This is one of those terrible school questions. Do you remember anybody? Yes. So she was so ready. I, I knew it. I knew you were going to be the one. Thank you so much. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for coming to this stage demo. Thank you, show so much for your art and. Cool. for being who you are. Yeah, thank you for stopping by, and guys. we have plenty and more yeah. things going on, you guys. We have tons of stage demos. We have signings. We have giveaways. Um, we'll be here all day. There you go.